Hello and welcome to Washington State University's OSA SPAE chapter. We're going to tell you how to build your own spectrometer. First you need to gather these materials. You'll need painter's tape or clear tape, fun duct tape or regular duct tape, scissors, a box cutter or X-Acto knife, a pen or a pencil, a wavelength scale which you can find on our website. You'll need a ruler with units in metric and English, and foam board, which you can find online or in stores. And tin foil or aluminum foil. And a diffraction grating with 500 lines per millimeter. We find it easiest to pre-cut out the foam board pieces for our students before we do the activity, so that way they don't cut themselves with a box cutter. You can find the instructions for cutting out the materials on our website. After you've cut out the materials using the foam board and box cutter, you'll need to build the spectrometer. First, you want to start with a base. You'll need to use one of the trapezoidal pieces and one of the rectangular pieces that you've cut out. We like to use fun duct tape because we find that it encourages the kids to use these spectrometers once they go home. We find it easiest to lay up the piece of duct tape down on the table, then put one piece on the duct tape, and then stand the rectangular piece on edge so that you can press it into the duct tape and then fold the duct tape up on top of the rectangular piece. The fun duct tape can be a little bit expensive, so if you want, you can use the regular duct tape with permanent markers to decorate it. Finish construction with the other pieces of the outer body. Once you've finished constructing the outer body, it will be important to build the wavelength scale correctly. When printed, the scale should be 2.75 inches in width and 0.875 inches in height. Note where the lines are closest together. This is where the 400 nanometer line starts. Each bold line is an increase in 25 nanometers from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. We recommend recording every 50 nanometers. When the scale is finished, you can set it aside temporarily. We're going to build the slit for, to let the light through now. Tear a piece of aluminum foil and fold the edge to make a nice, straight, crisp edge. This will help make a very nice and thin area for the light to come through. Once you tape the top part of the slit in place, you'll need to make the bottom part of the slit. Fold another piece of aluminum foil or tin foil and tape it in place. You want the slit to be approximately 2 millimeters in width. Once your pieces of tin foil are approximately 2 millimeters apart, tape them securely in place. The slit needs to be in the 90 degree corner of the body of the spectrometer. As you can see, my scale is upside down, so I flipped it over and labeled it right side up. The 400 nanometer line will be the closest to the slit, so make sure your scale is oriented properly. The 400 nanometer line needs to be exactly 8.2 centimeters from the center of the slit. Once the scale is in the correct location, tape it firmly in place. You don't want it to fall off. You're going to need to take apart your entire spectrometer to put it back on. When taping this piece in place, you want to make sure you're not covering any of the holes that you've cut in the foam board. You spent so much time cutting them out, it would be so sad if you covered them up with duct tape. Remember that the slit needs to be in the 90 degree corner. Otherwise, your scale will be a little bit off. Tape this piece securely in place with the spectrometer scale on the inside and the slit also on the inside. Now it's time to build the eyepiece. You can pre-cut out the diffraction grading squares for your students or you can have them cut out their own. It's up to you. We find that cutting them out ahead of time is easiest. The diffraction grading lines will need to line up with one of the edges of the eyepiece so that way it'll be easy to line up with the scale. I've used double-sided sticky tape to put my diffraction grating in place and then I'm using painter's tape to tape it very securely in place so it doesn't fall off. Hold the eyepiece up to the light and rotate it to find the correct orientation. We want the light to come in through the slit and be deflected onto the scale such that the light rays are parallel to the scale. Sometimes it helps to label the correct orientation before you tape it securely in place. It may help to, at first, 
tape the eyepiece in place with painter's tape, double check the alignment is correct, and then tape it in place with duct tape. Point the slit at your light source and look at the spectra on the scale. Make sure to never point the slit directly at the sun or directly at a laser. You can look at these things by bouncing them off of a white piece of paper. 